Have you ever wondered what happens to your body when you hyperventilate or why people hyperventilate into paper bags? Hyperventilation, otherwise known as rapid or deep breathing, has some pretty interesting physiological effects. Contrary to what you may think, hyperventilation doesn't actually increase the amount of oxygen in the blood by much. Usually, our blood's capacity to carry oxygen is already pretty maxed out. Our red blood cells contain a special molecule called hemoglobin, which is the part that oxygen is bound to as it circulates throughout our body. Under normal circumstances, hemoglobin is 98% saturated in arterial blood. Our hemoglobin is stuffed with oxygen. It simply can't carry much more, no matter how fast we breathe. Hyperventilation actually reduces the levels of carbon dioxide, also known as CO2, in the blood. You may know CO2 as the terrible, horrible, no good, very bad waste product our bodies are constantly trying to get rid of, or as the compound chiefly responsible for the climate crisis that's currently cooking our planet to death. However, we actually need a certain amount of CO2 in our blood as it helps regulate our blood pH. A quick explanation of the pH scale. The pH scale is a measure of the acidity and basicity of a substance. It's measured from 0 to 14, usually. Let's ignore super acids and super bases for this video. The lower the pH, the more acidic something is. Conversely, the higher the pH, the more basic something is. Something that registers a 7, like pure water, is considered neutral. Lemon juice has a pH of about 2, and baking soda has a pH of about 8. Our body is pretty picky. It wants to maintain a blood pH range of between 7.35 to 7.45. We have special receptors in our brainstem and major blood vessels that keep our blood pH in check. This is why those alkaline diets are, to put it nicely, pure garbage. That's just not how blood chemistry works. Our bodies already have mechanisms in place to keep our blood pH within a very specific range no matter what we eat. But on a moment to moment basis, our blood pH levels are directly coupled to our respiration, specifically our CO2 concentrations. The less CO2 we have in our blood, the more basic our blood becomes and the more our blood pH rises. Hyperventilation causes low CO2 levels in the blood, also known as hypocapnia, which leads to an undesirable rise in blood pH. To normalize pH levels, our body constricts the blood vessels leading up to our brain. This reduces blood flow to our wrinkly little noggin, which causes the dizziness and lightheadedness often felt when hyperventilating. A solution to this pH imbalance is to breathe into a paper bag as it forces the body to breathe back the CO2 it exhaled. This increases CO2 levels in the blood, which makes the blood more acidic and ensures that blood pH returns to its normal levels.